Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking 3D text effect using Adobe After Effects and Element 3D. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do here is download our footage. So I've just gone to pexels.com and I've just clicked download. Now I'm doing this in 4K but you can definitely do it in a lower resolution. Once you have that, let's take that to After Effects. So here we are in After Effects and all we have to do is drag our clip in here. Cool, so now that we have our clip in there, I'm just gonna create a new comp from that selection and it's gonna create a composition from the same size of that clip. Now I don't need it to go for 50 seconds, all I need it to do is to go for about 15 seconds and then once you've done that, all you need to do is just right click, trim comp to work area, and now we have a clip that goes for 15 seconds. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that because we're gonna apply roto brush to that layer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna double click that layer and then I'm going to go and hit that roto brush tool. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna draw a quick, you know, few lines about the sections that I want to keep. And once I'm pretty happy with that, then I will make the adjustments as needed. So that's a pretty good starting point. If you hold option, you can delete areas as well. So we're gonna remove that section there. And we'll try and remove this section in here as well. Now, the only other thing with Rotor Brush, you know, is that you will have to skip forward, you know, every couple of frames and just have a look and see if it's actually doing what it is that you want to do. And if it's not, then all you have to do is just either hold option or you can just draw the green line and you can fix up everything that you need. So I really recommend that you spend a couple of minutes to do this before you actually freeze everything because otherwise you have to come back and redo it. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time here to just fixing it up and then uh, I'm just gonna hit freeze. Cool, so now once you're happy with that, all you need to do is then just hit freeze and let the rotor brush do its job. Cool, so now once you've done that, you can go back to your original composition and then what you can do is, if you take off the background, you can see your rotor brush. And that looks pretty cool, but we're just gonna fix it up slightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the feather to about 15. You can play around with some of those settings, so it just makes it a little bit softer on the edges. But also what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to put shift edge and I'm just gonna bring that up to 100%. So now when you're happy with that, now we can move on to the next thing. So the first thing that we're gonna do in here is I'm just gonna add an adjustment layer and I'm just gonna add some curves. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a slight S bend and put it underneath that bottom layer just to make the background a little bit darker. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a new text layer and I'm gonna write my word. So this is very futuristic for me. So I'm writing the word future doesn't really matter where you put it because what we are going to do is we're going to create another new solid and we're going to call this uh, element 3d so yeah if you don't have element 3d this will be a little bit difficult but if you can get it it's a great plugin and that's what i'm going to be using so once you have element 3d the first thing that you need to do is you need to go down to custom layers custom text and mask change the path one to your text and then what we can do is go into the scene setup and so now there's nothing in here but when we click extrude now our text is there so that's looking pretty cool so if we go to the extrusion model and we just increase this extrude so maybe i'll do it something like that so there's a bit of thickness to it the other thing that i want to do is just make it a little bit more curvy around the edges so i'm going to increase the bevel depth maybe to about four ish and i'm going to increase the bevel size you know really bump it up to give it a nice you know kind of smooth bevel i think that looks pretty cool so the next thing in here is we are also going to change the color 
So I've just gone to color hunt and because it's a bluish kind of theme, I'm going to run with this dark blue. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the diffuse color and I'm going to paste the value in there. So I think that looks pretty cool, but it's a little bit dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up the diffuse until it's a bit brighter like that. And I'm also going to increase the reflectivity. So you don't want to go too crazy, but maybe if we go something like that, and now we've got this kind of nice um, kind of glowingness to it. So if we press OK, now we have our text in there and we don't need our original text. And I think that looks pretty cool as it is, but we want to get the lighting to be exactly the same as the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Element 3D and we're going to go into Custom Texture Maps and we're going to change Layer 1 to the video that we have. And then if we go back into Scene Setup and then if we click on this little icon here, this little image icon and then go to the environment and then we can load our texture on there. And so now we've got that texture on there and if you have to go back and change you know, maybe it went a bit too dark or something like that. You can always go back to the diffuse settings and uh, play around with that. So now once you have your text in there, you can always go back into your scene setup and you can always play around with some of these settings. So for example, the reflectivity, I'm just gonna drop it to about 20 and I'm also maybe just gonna bring up that diffuse just slightly. And so now we've got a little bit brighter text. So I think that looks pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to animate it. So to animate that, what we are going to do is we are just going to open up the group one settings. We're going to open up the particle replicator and I'm just going to move that text just a bit higher up. So maybe something like that. So I think that looks pretty cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the particle look settings. And I'm also going to open up this multi object. So the first thing we need to do is enable multi object. And now you got all these kind of rotation tools, which is really, really cool. So what we're going to do is we're just going to add some rotation. So I'm going to set a keyframe, make sure you're on the first, uh, you know, keyframe over here and also the size as well. So if we look at the particle size, we're going to start that at zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move forward probably about a second or so. And then I'm just going to bring that back to whatever it was. So that was 10. So now we've got this cool kind of, you know, um, zooming in, I guess, uh, animation. And then I'm going to go to the end of that composition and I'm just going to put in a value of, let's say 80. And so now if you scrub through that, now you will see that the text flies in. And then it kind of just, you know, wiggles around and you know does all this cool stuff with the letters. So that's looking pretty cool. I am going to increase the size to 1.15. All right, just to make it a little bit thicker. And I and I like that the text is kind of going into each other. So I think that looks pretty cool. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we easy ease these keyframes. So if we go animation and then we go keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then I'm going to go to the graph editor and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that first point and that second point. And now we're going to have a bit more acceleration. So it's going to really punch in and then it's going to do its thing. And we're going to do the same for the other keyframes as well. So we go to animation, keyframe assistant, easy ease. We're going to use the graph editor, but this time I want all the motion to be the other side. So it's really going to kind of fly in and then it's going to kind of slow down and you know keep going like that. And if that's twisting too much, you can always adjust that rotation. Cool, so now that's pretty much finished. Now, to make it look a little bit better, what we can do is we can add motion blur on that layer. So when it comes in, there's a little bit of motion blur and that looks pretty cool. Uh, the final things we're gonna do to dress this up is we are going to add an adjustment layer. And inside this adjustment layer, I'm going to add some Lumetri color. And inside of Lumetri color, I'm gonna change uh, the creative options and I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna be using the LUT that I've been using in the last couple of videos, which is SL Gold Rush. And there's two different versions. There's a HDR as well as an LDR. 
So you can play around to see which one you like. I think uh, HDR is a bit better, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring down that value to maybe something like 60. So now there's a more uniformed color on everything. And the final thing that I did in here is I added another new adjustment layer and I just added some noise. So if you bump the noise up to about 10%, now it all kind of ties together and that's about it. The only other thing that I did here is I added an outro uh, animation for the text. So I just copied the text and I put that point there and I also put the beginning point there. But then what you need to do is you need to go into the graph editor to do the same thing that you did on the other side. And then the text will now kind of zip out. So yeah, so that's about it for this quick tutorial on how to use Element 3D to get some really cool text and how to do a bit of rotoscoping in After Effects. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video.